What's up, everybody? It's your man, Chuck Creamer, a.k.a. Jigsaw, and we are here with AllHipHop.com and a legend, Kango Kid from UTFO fame. What's going on, my brother? I'm good, man. How are you, bro? Good. Very good. Very good. But sure. I don't even want to waste time. I want to cut straight to the chase. Let, I have been told you have a new reality show coming up, but it has a very special proposition. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sir, okay, well, uh, the family, of course, uh, that this will follow is your uh, flavor of love, your bachelorette, your bachelor type of joint. But the twist to this is it doesn't necessarily have to be a love connection, all right? That's not the basis here to make a connection. What we're doing here is um, we're showing love to the fans. Um, you know, there's uh, the name of the show is Fairy Tale Love. For those that knows UTFO, we had that hit in the mid 80s called Fairy Tale Lover. We're the first rap group to have an R&B ballad. And so that name is fitting. But uh, what we're doing is uh, making sure that fans have a, an opportunity to have a moment with their fairy tale lover. And I'm sure everyone out there who's hearing me, seeing me right now has had a fairy tale lover. There is someone that you've seen on television that you've said, yo, I'd love an opportunity you know, to, I'd love to have an opportunity to meet that individual and, and hang out and party and who knows what else could happen with this person. And that was your, your fairy tale, you know, uh, your fairy tale lover. Well, this show will be exactly that. We want to get all of the fans, my fans from back in 85 and on has been following me for 30 something years. We want to get all the fans to send in a video and let us know why you should win the opportunity to be with your fairy tale lover. And what will you win? You will win a day in the life of that fairy tale lover where, you know, it's worked for me, but it, it'd be fun for y'all where I'm, we're walking that, down that red carpet, um, where, you know, paparazzi's taking photos of us. Uh, the outfit that you're wearing is sponsored by, uh, you know, that, that famous uh, a brand or designer you know, maybe Fashion Nova will probably step in and, and bless you with whatever it is you want, you know, for, for these events. Um, you know, and uh, rubbing elbows with my celebrity friends. So we want to make what I do for a living, which is a fairy tale to y'all, we want to make your fairy tale come true. So that's basically what the show is about. Nice. Now, where do people submit the videos to? Uh, your videos, let me say that it's so easy to do today with social media, um, upload your video to your page and uh, or to our page, Fairy Tale Lover TV. You can DM it to Fairy Tale Lover TV or put it up on your page and hashtag Fairy Tale Lover TV and uh, production will find it. You know, what I mean, we have a whole casting team that's going to go look look for your videos, and we're asking everyone to start sending your videos on Valentine's Day which we're referring to as Fanlentine's Day. This is for the fans, all right? And, uh, you know, I'm sure in this season, this COVID season, a lot of people are not going to go out on dates, you know, and, um, and uh, you know, maybe you don't have a date or maybe you choose not to go out with a date because of the season. Whatever the reason is, take that day to give yourself that fairy tale that you've been dreaming about for how long? I know there are chicks out there that had my posters plastered all over their bedroom wall. Uh, there's the chick that was saying, oh, he gonna be my baby daddy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that chick, if you are that chick, or if your cousin or your auntie was that chick, you might wanna holler at them and let them know, yo, here's an opportunity to, to have a great time with that person you were talking about meeting for how long? And uh, it's that simple. Fairy Tale Lover TV. I'd love to have y'all. I'd love to see y'all. You know, I've not been that fortunate in the world of uh, relationship. You know, what I mean, mm -hmm. I'm a single. I'm a single dude right now. But I'll tell you what's never happened is I've never broken up with a fan. You know, what I mean, my mm -hmm. fans have always been there to show love, show support. There are times where I feel depressed, and I'll go online and you know pull up a photo of mine or just Google my name. And I'll see photos that fans posted of me and them. And their caption would say, this was one of the greatest days of my life. It was such an honor to meet him, yada, yada, yada. And reading those things gave me purpose. You know what I mean? 
And so this is an opportunity for me to say thank you to them. Now, the buck doesn't stop there, though. You know what I mean? Season one, I'm the guinea pig. So we're going to do this. We can't go kid the fairy tale lover. But I look forward to season two and three, where I'll be the host. And I'm going to holler at my brothers, Big Daddy Kane, uh, Christopher Williams, Ralph Tresvant, I'll be sure. And I'm not just going to stop at the brothers. Why not holler at the female fairy tale lovers, Lisa Lisa, uh, CeCe mm. Peniston, Cindy from In Vogue, you know what I mean? And and the current artist. It's up to you guys on who the fairy tale lover is. But um, this is the, the, the groundbreaking version of this. And... Uh, I hope you guys help me make this the success that it needs to be so that we can create a platform for the fans. This is for them. This is an opportunity for the celebrities to say thank you to y'all. So Fairy Tale Lover TV, make your fairy tale come true on this show, man. I'm so freaking excited about this. Let me add one last thing. My son is going to be my wingman. So that right okay. there is going to be a little crazy because my little man, I mean, he's a grown man today, but he never had the opportunity to pick who I congregated with. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? He was, he was a baby or well, he wasn't even born when I, you know, when I chose his mom. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, so he's going to have an opportunity to say, nah, that chick right there remind me of that other chick you was with. Nah, we're not doing that one. He gets, mm-hmm. he gets to say so for the first time ever. So okay. great show, man. It's going to be a great show. And my celebrity friends are going to come through and surprise some people. I won't let you know who or what or whatever. Someone said um, at an other interview, said, you're going to have Roxanne Shantae come through? Who knows? I'm just going to leave it at that. That's my sister. You know what I mean? She might come through and she might come through and chop some heads off. Who knows? (laughs) You know what I mean? But uh, Mm -hmm. it's going to be a great thing. And I really implore you guys, please, you need to be part of this. It's going to be history again being made. I've made a lot of history in the past. I'm about to do it again. I'd like for y'all to be part of it. All right. Salute. 